Hey guys, my name is X Factor. I hope you're having a great day. And as promised, we're going to be mixing things up as I stream daily on Facebook at fb.gg slash rival X Factor and on YouTube. So thank you to Rebellion and Strange Brigade for sponsoring this video. This is an adventure third person co op shooter available August 28th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And it scales. You can play with up to three other friends, so a total of four. And you can do as much damage to the bad guys as you could do to your friends, which we'll explain here in a couple seconds. And tons of interaction with the actual environment, both good and bad. Let's say we had a teammate over there, you could definitely ruin their day. And of course, take out the hordes, depending on how creative you are. So there's a lot of neat stuff that is highly interactive with this game. It's not just point and click. Now, are you somebody that likes to solve puzzles? Well, there's a character for you to play, and of course, different gun loadouts, and a different way to play. You are not stuck to one way through in Strange Brigade. Of course, if you want to shoot your way through, which more than likely I'm going to be doing, you could do that. You can also be extremely creative with the way it is all laid out. Pay attention to how things work, what damage they do, and maybe you can circle Save back and use now. them to Three make your job a little bit easier. Now, if you pay attention, in the middle of my screen by my feet, there's an amulet that you can charge up. Pow. Steal their souls, and it comes back and charges as you go. It's not something you can exactly spam as the blades of death come out of the ground, but it is something that you will most certainly need because, again, this game scales depending on how many people you're playing with and the difficulty that you are on. Pretty easy to begin with. But once you get going, there are different types of enemies, different types of threats, and all kinds of different angles that you absolutely have to worry about. And for those of you wondering what kind of weapons are in the game, there's quite a few options depending on who you're playing, and you can change them up as you're going throughout the map on your adventure. And there's a good example of using some oil-filled vases, if you well, will, not and just the basically clearing out the horde. Which, again, as you get further, you're most certainly going to want to pay attention to what you can and cannot blow up. And if you do have teammates there, you need to be careful as well because that you don't want to roast their useful. cookie too hard. How about something like that? A spiked log. Yep, wouldn't want to be a teammate there. And you can bet your butt, depending on who I'm playing with, I'm more than likely going to have codes to give away with community members once this game comes out. I'm probably going to be pulling that shenanigan a few times. So here you see some of the loadout and the customization. And it doesn't stop there. You can actually upgrade. And you see these different gems. Depending on the weapon, there are different gem slots. They do different things. Some give you a little bit of health on a kill. Some are a damage over time. If you don't hit him in the head, more than likely it's not a one-shot. So keep that in mind. There you see a trapdoor kind of coming down, doing some damage. And then you see me using the amulet. Ability. Now, I do have a blunderbuss little pistol that you'll see here in a couple seconds. And here's a pretty good kite into multiple enemies and got a nice pick. This is the start of the end boss fight with one of the ghouls for this level. And they can kind of shift around and warp on you. So now you see them in red. Now you don't. They can pop up. You can roll. You do have some defensive abilities, which you have to use a lot. And here you see really good in interaction with the environmental stuff. Now, if we did have two, three, or four people as I throw some C4, but guess what? Got to hit it again. Uh, this will scale, most certainly, as uh, Mr. Ghoul gets one punch there. So you do have to be careful of what's going on and kind of keep spinning your camera because you can get surrounded and pounded. If that happens, you're done. I basically have no health in the bottom left. I have one heal potion up. I'm going to need to use that extremely quickly. As you see, we've got some armored targets here. Rolling does buy you some time, but if you roll into one direction and don't check, you might be rolling into enemies that are working on both angles. The good news is they kind of sat there. I'm going to pick some up there, and I actually got knocked out. I'm in big trouble and need to get out of here. We have spinning attacks. We have stabs. We have the ghouls, which come in and out, and you also have to worry about your ammunition, which thankfully that was there, or I would be in big trouble. So we get a little piece of C4 out, or dynamite, if you will, and get a potato the first shot, absolutely into the camera. 
So Strange Brigade is something a little bit different, but we're most certainly going to play it when this game comes out because it's fun. Not to mention how you can creatively kill and grief your friends, if you will, if you're doing that. And you see the blunderbuss, which is a special power-up weapon you have for a limited amount of shots. You can't just spam this thing because it's absolutely OP. It's just absolutely wrecking these ghouls and this horde. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of variety. Remember, Strange Brigade comes out August 28th. Available on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. What do you guys think? As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And oh yeah, there's maybe some monsters or dinosaurs at the end. What? What massive Thanks for watching. creation is this monstrosity? Darwin spectacles! How will our heroes get out of this one? Tune in next week to find out in another gripping installment of... The Strange Brigade.